brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Here's Fast Pitch Chat. Welcome to Fast Pitch Chat. I'm Bill Hillhouse and I'm here to answer this week's question. Janelle asks, I have been told that I should not learn a rise ball until I'm 17 years old. Is this true? Well, Janelle, it kind of depends on how you've been taught to throw the rise ball and how you've been taught to pitch up to this point. My pitching students are all taught the same general mechanics from pitch to pitch. We don't deviate, we don't step differently, we don't lean on one pitch, we don't tilt on one pitch, we don't go side to side from one pitch. So our mechanics are staying the same. It's simply a matter of how we twist the ball at the bottom that makes it spin a certain way. So mechanically, everything I do between my rise and my drop is identical. It's how I spin the ball. How I'm spinning the ball shouldn't really be a matter of getting an injury. It's, it's a matter of just simply twisting the ball with our fingers. If they're doing something a lot more drastic with how you're throwing a rise ball, then I would say maybe some injuries can occur. But that's going to, again, that's going to depend on how your pitching coach is teaching it. If your pitching coach is keeping your motion the same from pitch to pitch, then really the rise ball shouldn't have any more chance of an injury than any other pitch. Thanks for watching this week's episode. If you have any questions, email them to fastpitchtv at gmail.com. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? SoftballJunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to SoftballJunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket. is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network.